Hey, what's up, everybody? What's happening? All my cryptocurrency creepers out there. It's another vlog, man. Talk to y'all about cryptocurrencies and what's going on in the world while I fight my way home through all this crazy traffic. Man, today, today was a little different, man. You know, normally, normally there's a whole lot of stuff, like, just going crazy for me. And, uh, I was so busy today, I didn't even have time to really get into everything that I wanted to get into. I started to a little bit, but nowhere near like I wanted. And, uh, leaving work late. It's been crazy today crazy so on a on a separate note there's some craziness going on in the cryptocurrency world too All right I was checking out that uh, Bitcoin BYTE coin I talked to y'all about that one before Man, y'all need to check that one out. Just look at what it's doing real slow. But it's but it's quiet. Moving, steady growth, and what it's capable of doing. And I, I'll tell you another one that you need to watch out for. And that is bit shares. And the reason I say that is I put out a video about EOS and Dan is the one who invented Steemit he created BitShares and now he's creating EOS which is basically a giant decentralized blockchain computer that, pe that developers can use to create applications for the blockchain or on the blockchain right which is uh, going to be very very cool it's gonna give some guys like I said in my other video it's gonna give some developers out there uh, somebody somewhere is gonna have this epiphany and they're gonna create this application that's gonna change the way we interact with cryptocurrencies on a daily basis and uh, I can't wait to see what comes from it. I think it's going to be amazing. And I don't know if y'all saw. And I'm probably going to title this video. Five dollars. To a millionaire. Or something like that. I posted in another video of mine where I talked about, and I didn't go into great depth, about how if you invested $5 back in 2009 in Bitcoin, you'd be worth $4.4 .4 million right now. Man, that's insane. So that, it got me thinking about all these little cryptocurrencies, right, all these little altcoins all these little babies coming up in the world and uh and then the craziness with the ico markets and everybody and their mom putting out icos and then i started wondering how long it's going to be before uh, regulation comes down on these icos uh, because you're going to have these pump and dumps right you're going to have these altcoins that get created like mike's hard coin or something i don't know like like John Dix super coin and they're gonna clout all this stuff that is that it can do market the hell out of it jack the price through the roof everybody's gonna make killer profits off of it and then they're gonna close the doors and, and the, they're gonna cash out by exchanging it for another cryptocurrency that's in it for the long haul right and I think that's going to be the new wave of HYIPs, right? High yield interest programs. If y'all don't know, like, I don't know, like the 
crypto bot or the vet robot or the Bitcoin brain or whatever, right? I think that the ICOs are headed that direction. And I'm just curious to see how long it's going to be before regulation comes down on the ICOs and they start controlling that. And I'm surprised that there isn't a blockchain out there for ICOs, right? I'm, I mean, I'm surprised that, like EOS, just like I was talking about, right? EOS is basically going to be a decentralized blockchain uh, uh, environment to create applications. Why can't you do the same thing for these ICOs? And, and then you create it in an environment where they get voted, right? Where we, the cryptocurrency space, can vote on the coins that we feel like actually have some value and are in it for the long haul and we we support them and that's how they raise their their income their capital right I'm sure I'm not the only one that's thought about this and maybe y'all know about a coin or a cryptocurrency out there that's doing it and if you do man y'all let me know in the comments because I'd like to check it out. I'm curious to see, you know, and, and with Ethereum being the smart contract blockchain, you know, you could create a token on the Ethereum backbone that would allow us to take our cryptocurrency get that token and use that token as funding for these ICOs that are coming out. And it would be a, a blockchain angel investor decentralized. Anyways, I've just been thinking about that. And I don't know nothing about programming. And I don't know if there's one out there, but I feel like that's a million dollar idea. I feel like right now, if you could spit that out with all these ICLs that are cranking out nonstop, that you could create a cryptocurrency token with some value that, that would be able to sustain itself because the, these new ideas, these new coins, these new tokens are not going to stop anytime soon. The bigger that blockchain technology gets, the bigger the cryptocurrency space becomes, the more people are going to be involved that have ideas that are going to want to test them out and see if they can hold dirt, right? See if they can see if they can create enough backing and support to make it that is not going anywhere it's no different than business than our everyday business market right so i don't know i, I you know maybe i maybe i go maybe i don't label this five dollars to a billionaire maybe i label it five dollars to a billionaire ico Because, I, I mean, I get involved in some ICOs, but not very many. Veritasium is one I got into for sure. I think that's got a lot of legs. EOS is probably one I'm going to get into because I think it's got a lot of legs. Um, but there's not very many that I get into right, off the, right out the gate. It's very few and far between. And, and I think part of it is the trust factor, you know. I think if... If there was more trust out there behind these ICOs, and and, and I, I get it, right? It's risk reward. I get it. 
But if there was a little bit more trust in what they were doing, um, I think it would remove the roadblock for a lot of us who would be willing to invest our, you know, our capital in supporting something. Our capital, our time, our marketing efforts, our, you know, our everything. So, anyways, y'all let me know what you think, right? ICOs, good, bad, EOS. Hey, y'all check it out, man. Check out that video. Get on the email for EOS so they can update you on when that token is getting distributed. And, uh, you know, if y'all are developers, man, I hope... I hope y'all come up with some amazing, amazing shit and I get to check it out because that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm going to finish my drive home. Y'all keep doing your thing, right? I'll yell at y'all later.